What's up, YouTube? We're back. Chuck McGruff here with the Furman's Paladins Week 4 episode for our Furman Paladins Dynasty, bro. So here we have Team News, bro. Team News. What we got going on? We took a bad loss last week against a good ECU team, so I'm not ashamed, not embarrassed to admit that they are a better team than us, but we... Could have gotten a little better on offense, but what can you expect from a 60-something overall team? Okay, so our team news here is Anthony Chase. He's ready for a visit, y'all. This kid is ready to come to see what we got here at Furman. We can't let these kids down. And also, quarterback Chance Lewis, he's ready. These are the two kids that I'm very interested in right now, starting off this season. I think I'm going to give them two scholarships to each one of these kids because we do need a quarterback. Even though Woodruff is a freshman, 670 overall, we need somebody to help him out if in case in the next few years he gets hurt or anything else. He could eventually take over the starting quarterback position if my guy Woodruff don't, you know, evolve into a better quarterback. So the other two guys, Kendall Williams and Brandon Daniel, they are ready to come visit also. We're going to let these guys show, but we're not going to offer them immediately unless, you know, we only have 11 scholarships to give out this year, but we're going to make sure we use those scholarships wisely. So as we advance to the next week, we'll see that we have a bye week right ahead of us. And look at us right there, not getting it done. Furman leaves Greenville, North Carolina with a heartbreaking 34-15 defeat. So I see that my quarterback, my head coach, he has, Chuck McGruff has a, up. he can upgrade one of these things here which is his um skills tree. So what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade it and see which one can we use. Oh, uh, scout and I don't want that one. Open one lock. Scout and now we're going to do lock cuz I don't do scout. I'm going to do the lock so we can unlock something at the end of the season. Maybe a player that don't want to come to us or anything. Let's make sure all our coaches we have them level 1, guys. So let's go. So we're going to go through this bye week, check out our recruits real quick, um, give it a brief brush over of what's going on in the offseason, not offseason, but in the season of recruiting. Let's see, we got, we just had one game first week, the second week we had a bye week, then we had one game last week, and then we got a bye, bye week this week. So it looks like we're out of bye weeks all, so far. Maybe we have one more, I'm not sure. So let's see how we're doing with these recruits. I like to um, give the people who are more interested less points so we can spend a lot on the top end and hopefully we can nag one of those guys that's saying no to Furman. So as you can see, these guys down here getting 50 points and uh, everybody in the thousands I'm giving 50 points because that's a pretty good lead above everybody else. So we got some pretty decent players that are very interested. 50 points for all these guys. Congratulations guys, y'all getting 50 points. William Dykes. <laughs> Dykes. <laughs> That's crazy. So we're going 75 points for anything above, below um, 1,000. This is my little method I came up with, which helps me with recruiting a lot. And I also with those recruiting rules that I have about my players that I can't, you know, recruit and players I can't recruit. Oh, my little strategy kind of works pretty well. It lets me, you know, still filter through a lot of guys that are not interested. So now that we're getting to a whole every hundred below, we are going to give a little more points. So it's 175 here, 200 here. I think you guys should try this out. It's a lot easier, and it makes recruiting a little, a little quicker. Also, for me at least, and you don't waste a lot of your points on the players that you already, you know, is already interested in your school. So now we're here, we're going 250. Because those guys that are already sh for sure that's going to come. They don't need any more points than they already have. As long as you can offer scholarships and do all that good stuff, you should be good. So right here, I see that. We may just do 250 for everybody here. But some of these guys, we're not going to get anyway. Based on the school, look at him. 
he won ECU. And no, that was a big game for him last week. Mr. 6-5 offensive tackle from Burton. Hopefully, we may still be able to steal him. Depends on how the season goes for us. Got my boy Georgia from Georgia Southern there. Smyrna from Smyrna, Georgia. We might can snag him if we win a pretty good, decent game against them. All right, so we got 175 left. We're going to go up to the top here. Give him 300. Give him 75. And give him 75. And give him 75. So since we got kids ready to come visit us already, we're going to go through this list and see who's willing to come to, I believe, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Let's go. Well, they want to come see us play against the Raging Cajuns. Bring it on. Who is that? Anthony Chase. That's the kid that we want. But he obviously not very interested in us at this point. We are on one of his top teams, but not his top team. Okay, they're the quarterback that I was just talking about. Chance Lewis. Chance is very interested in us. Chance, I like the... I like the chance that I might have to start on this team. <laughs> and Chance, we're waiting for somebody to come revitalize this program. And Chuck McGruff has got this thing going in the right direction. Hopefully, we don't get fired. I don't think we're going to get fired. Let's see what they expect. They expect five wins out of us, I believe. Let's check out, take a look at Chance, man. Let's take a look at him, man. Oh, let me find him again. Let's take a look at Chance. Let's see what he got going on. Chance, a one star from Tifton, Georgia. He is a Juco kid. It's from Tifton, George. Look at him. He's ready. He's, well, I'm coming here, coach. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, his speed is not good. Let's see what, he got him as a balanced quarterback. His speed is not balanced at all. The scrimmage is not that good, but his acceleration, his stamina, his throwing power and accuracy. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so let's get out of this first this week here, man. we we'll catch up with what went on in the SEC or stuff real quick the NCAA I like that I like that picture there though yeah we know top 10 tightrope Clemson won we know that Wolverines are ready they won I believe yeah they won all the games oh, it was a nice game coming up Saturday showdown between these two guys two undefeated teams there's a lot of undefeated teams going against it's early in the season so a lot of these guys won't be undefeated Vanderbilt upset South Carolina uh, Purdue beat Notre Dame. Oh well. Don't have anything to do with us, so let's go. To the next week. Appalachian State is where we're going to play against Appalachian State, bro. Appalachian State. Two old FCS teams from the college football subdivision. We are we from the championship subdivision. We two teams that made it to the FBS finally. And we are looking to be the best of the converted guys in the Sun Belt. I have a couple of teams that just came over recently. So, we loving it. Okay, so offensive coordinator Daniel Bell is now a level two. Defensive coordinator Brandon Butler is now a level two. So maybe if we get more out of our office coordinator to help with the head coach, we may see a lot better improved gameplay. Markel Tanner, 64 overall, ready to visit. Michael Goodman, 64 overall, D tackle, ready to visit. Defensively, we're getting good players that come into our school to people's out. Darren Matthews, center, ready to visit. Darren Medoya, free safety. Anything below 50, 60, I don't really care too much about. But we know, eventually there'll be great players. These guys are ready to visit, guys. Ready to visit. So here we go. Week five. Furman Paladins, one and one. Going up against Appalachian State, who are one and two. Conference play opens. Were the and Furman prepared for their Sun Belt opener against Appalachian State, buddies? State 
Furman looks forward to their road matchup with Appalachian State, which is a better team than us, but we are going to fight. We are going to take down Appalachian State. They're one and two. We know they're better than us, but that is our dwindle right now. So we're going back to our recruiting board. Oh, yeah. Let's see what improvements we may have. So we start back at the bottom again like we did the last time. Kerry Mason, man, he was all the way up there. Like, look at he what that was a big jump for him. Kerry Mason, what change your mind, my buddy? Something. He's from Alabama. We was just we were talking about that the other week. Like we need some Alabama kids to come. He got Cincinnati, he got Auburn, and he's a Three star, six six, defensive end, run stopper. He will be he. That is Chuck McGruff's, Coach McGruff's favorite size for a DN. Six six with a slender build, two forty two, which allows you to play hectic pass rush defense. And uh, if we can nail this kid, boy, it's gonna be. A great, a uh, great addition to our defense. Proximity to home was a potential deep deal breaker. It's a crazy deal breaker. For him. Hopefully that don't hurt us. Playing time though, he said, "Hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to start right now. Look at the speed for a defensive end at six six seventy one overall, overall speed is pretty good. Come off the edge, his jump and his stamina, finesse moves. He don't have much of block shedding." We can increase his finesse move and power move, but that tackle rating is a B upside up. That's what I'm talking about. And project the cutoff. We can cut these guys off. We're good. That's what I'm talking about, man. That that's that was a highlight of the week. Yeah, after that bad loss that we just have, nailing man, getting this kid <laughs> swaying this kid to come out of school, man. I don't know what happened that week. Uh, whatever. I appreciate my assistant coaches for going down there and talking to that kid because I didn't. So we're getting, we're we're making some leeway on this recruiting. In season recruiting is my big. I like to nail my kids early. I like to get them early. I like to get them early. So you see my, he was getting two hundred. So as last week I was doing starting fifty. If he was at two hundred, that means he, he was um. Teetering on not coming to us or on the verge of coming to us, and it really helped us just now to get that kid. So, well, we got a lot of couple, of, we running some tight races in the recruiting with a lot of players. This guy right here is from Pennsylvania. Candles, what is it? he want to come to Furman? Look at him. He said, I don't care. I'm trying to go down south. And we hopefully we get some good transfers next year also. He said, I'm trying to go down south, coach. I'm trying to go down there and play in some good weather. That's what we got going for us. Good weather down here. Brian Johnson. So it seems as if we gaining a little traction with a couple of other players. Nine, six, five. And we're losing some. We are losing some traction. But not to worry. Dickens, six four. So he's from Myrtle Grove, North Carolina. Let's compare him to the guy that we somehow persuade to come see about us. Okay, J.R. Dickens, 6'4", 240. Okay, not as tall, but it's a pretty good size, and I like it, you know. Only thing that's killing us is the playing time. He don't believe he's going to start, but the other kid believes he's going to start. 134 is his ranking, so the pipe, the proximity to home is pretty close. Program tradition is not that great. The team that he's looking to go to... Uh, uh, Athletic State, yeah, there's a lot of close proximity. His speed, look at him, pretty quick. 63 overall, though. Pretty quick kid. Tackling is not as good as the other one. Hit power. His, his power moves is pretty good. Agility. Yeah, it's okay. We're still there in the run with him, but... We're still in the run with him, but maybe... 
I'm not gonna nail him. So let's go back down to this kid. Six six, just can't get over it. <laughs> two forty two from Alabama. Run stop. He's the number fifty two. So I understand why he believed that he's not gonna start the other kid. And I don't know how they let this kid slip. Got some big schools wanting him, but man, we can nail this recruit, bro. This is gonna change our team forever. And I think it's a cornerstone signing. I believe that's gonna be a cornerstone signing for us. So we're gonna share the rest of these points and I'm gonna make sure we get at least a couple offers already out there. We get a couple offers already out there. We need like We need like fifty points. I wanna give at least two. Two of them. You know who I wanna give it to. That defense with in. See where we stand. Just make sure I don't get the four nine. So we at four four seven seven five. We'll go back up here and give ourselves a little bit more for these guys here. And then we'll just start scheduling some guys after that also to come to the school. That's why I love the South recruiting in the South, man. We get some pretty good players. I'm gonna leave that at that and we'll spread it amongst the top one. So we offering this kid immediately. And let's see. Defense and cornerback. Running back. Two star. Cornerback 70. 70. Cornerback 70. D tackle. Let's see the overalls. 68. 66. Maybe the cornerback will get the first one. Free safety, 60, let's see why, 58, no, 52, yeah, we're going to the cornerback, we offer the cornerback, and we'll come back next week and maybe, oh, well, he already offered the cornerback, can't know that, so we can offer the D-tackle, so defensively, we're getting some great recruits. And go up here and give off this last... 25 and then we're going to upgrade our coaches upgrade our coaches skill trees glad we got one upgrade for our offense coordinators because this is really going to help us we were really caring about the defensive players stamina and all that type of stuff but now we need block shedding or finesse moves or power moves we're gonna go for block shedding on defense, cause if we can get in the backfield a little more, that a lot that'll help us a lot. One plus carrying per game. We seen that fumble last game, <clears throat> so we need a little more boost on our carrying, so we can have more confidence holding that ball. All right, so let's go check out the top stories. Uh, the Hawkeyes defeat Penn State. They was on the verge of losing some games anyway because you've seen the struggles they were having. Michigan took them out, took out Wisconsin. Florida State and Boston College going at it. Pretty good running back for Boston College they have. West Virginia and Oklahoma State going at it too. A lot of good ranked teams. Texas Downs, Kansas State in a Big 12 opener. Florida takes out Tennessee. South Carolina won this week. Lost the week before to a lesser team. They don't know what they want to do. The Tigers got whooped. Let's see who's up for the Heisman in the early run. Connor Blomert. Well, 69 overall. Well, you know, that's probably came from the updated rosters. Being changed. He's going to be out of there soon. I guess that was supposed to be um, Johnny Football or somebody. I'm not sure. So we got J.K. Dobbins. 
Karen Hidgen, these guys going up for it. Will Greer, pretty good. That's quarterback. Yeah, he's pretty good. 98 overall. So, J.K. Dobbins is leading right now. We're not counting the other guy. The top school, you already know who that is. Most likely. The Clemson Tigers took over. Alabama's there. Yeah. Ohio State. Top five is looking pretty normal. Michigan State's in there. That's not very normal. So, here we go, guys. No, let me back out. I'm sorry. We got to check these squad out. Let's see what's going on. So, they got some kids coming. Gray is coming. The right tackle from Stanford, California. You know? <laughs> That's a long travel. Maybe he just want to come see the other side of the country. But he looking at at Flash State. If they got his interest, that's pretty good. So look at us, D's across the board. We're barely passing in college. We got D's. Well, in some class you got to make C's. I'm hoping they're not a major class, but we're, we're, we're falling behind. We're about to fail. So look at their offense. We're scoring more points than they did. We scored 15 last game, which took us to 28. We went, so we're 18.3. They probably played better competition. Their offense is better than us. Their rush offense is better than ours. Their passing offense is better than ours. Our defense is better than theirs. Total defense, rush defense. Their pass defense is better than ours, but not by that much. And their turnover differential is better than ours. They're newly to the FBS also, so Appalachian State, one and two. You know their record is not that great. And we're out here, same as we were. So Appalachian State lost to Memphis. Pretty good team. Pretty competitive game. 27 to 6. Don't show it, but. You know that was a, a fight all the way through, most likely. Then they lost to Northern Illinois, 2-1. Pretty good team, 14-21. Then they beat Kent State, a pretty good team also. So, obviously, we're not going up against any scrubs this week. Bryant, 3-1, passing 50%, a little over 50% completion rate. And M. Cox, the running game, you already know what time it is. Watch out for the running back. And us over here. We're completing, got Woodruff completing them below 50%, 240 yards, two for two, the touchdowns. Our running back is not hitting on nothing. Colbrook is, you know, he didn't have number 12 receiving yards last game. Our defense, we know, is running, is pretty good. So, what we need to do, like I said last week, we need to take that guy, we need to change these guys um, from the kickoff return. But let's take a look at um Hannon and Woodruff. Hannon showed us that he could run that ball pretty well. Oh, I see why he's his composure is up because he's a sophomore, sophomore redshirt. So he has three years of college football experience, and ref, this is his first year playing. Scrimp is not that good. His agility is not that better. Acceleration, which gave him an upside. Awareness is a little better. Enough to make a difference, I see. Trucking, all that type of stuff. We let's let's go see the throwing power accuracy. Yes, you seen that on that bad pass he threw. It was so underthrown. So we we're gonna stick with Woodrum. We're just gonna have to get him out on bootlegs and integrate a little more different play in the offense for him. Check our running backs out. Hank McLeod, five eight, one eighty eight. Not a big kid, but he's he making it work. Gotta get him out on screen plays a little more. And let's try to put our fastest. Player that is not starting here, so I think it's going to be Milliken. I don't want to put anybody in that we can risk to get injured or anything. Milliken, eighty-eight. Um, we want somebody with some acceleration. Mick Morris, we know he's starting. Freshman, eighty. Put him. Sound like he came from Africa. So we're gonna put Milliken right there. And my guy, Old Sonya. And Dozier. So we good. Gonna kick it into our first conference game against Appalachia State, boss. Let's see what the kind of jerseys they got. Oh, another big, way better than us type team. Then they got helmets. They got white helmets. Black helmets. I think we're going to put them in the white helmets and jerseys. Nice. I like 
this. I wonder if we should put the black helmets on them. Yeah, that looks nice. Black helmets for those guys. And then we're going to switch it up. We had purple helmets last game. Let's see what kind of other jersey we got. We got these two. Ooh, nice away jersey. We're going to go with Dallas one. And purple pants. No, we got black pants. We got white pants again. White helmets this game. So, look at defense. 13 ticks better than us. Offense better than ours. But we don't care. We're out here to make a difference. Make people respect us. Okay, look at DeAndre. That's a guy coming from California, three-star, number 34 tackle in the nation. And Daniel Smith, the number 11 running back, two-star. And Appalachian State, I'm not sure. I believe they like to run that ball. Look at the 64 carries in three games. Uh, that's 20-something a game. Like 21 and a half, I believe. 21 and a third. And six receptions. Um, they're punter, they're kickers. So they're kicking the ball. They're getting in the red zone a lot, I see. And they're punting the ball a lot, I see. So, whoever can come up on top in the first S Sun Belt, I say SEC. Man, those jerseys look nice. Look at those kids. Look at them. In the first Sun Belt game. Stadium's empty. Rushing yards per game. Look at it. We got doing like 365 yards a game. We're doing 231. We're scoring though. So Appalachian State coming out. Look at the punter. <laughs> Number five. Let's find out who that kid is. He's out there getting jiggy. Emotion. Oh, that's the quarterback. Their quarterback. Uh uh. Look at Cobra. Pre-game getting pumped. Right, they about to fight it in pre-game. Let's go, man. All right, we in Kid Brew Stadium. I'll cheer in Appalachian State Country in the Mountaineers Country. Let us get that ball first. We make a statement this week. Sun Belt Conference opener. Get the kickoff. Let's go. Milliken back there to return it. Not as fast as. Oh, but he may be breaking. Oh my goodness! Not as fast as doggone the last returner from last week, but he's getting into the scene. All right. First play, H-back dive. We talked about getting the offensive running game started early. Well, as long as you keep your head going for it, McLeod, we'll be okay. Look at those jerseys. I like them, boy. Look at them. We got a lot of options. Keep them options open. Quick base coming out the shotgun, 45. We're hitting that gap right there. Hopefully, we can get some push up front. We do. Nice find. Here we go. Up the middle. Hank McLeod. Seven yard rush. Get this guy into the mold. Let's go. We got that counter F right there. We got two impact players on the right side. So hopefully we can still knife that thing up in the middle. Oh my goodness. Whew. Chuck McGruff. Whoa. These guys got blowed up. So let's not try to call that play again. I'm not Chuck McGruff, Paul. This office coordinator. I forgot his name. But Chuck McGruff get the blame at the end of the day anyway. So a punt near the sideline. Oh, nice pancake block. And it goes out of bounds, I believe, at the five. There go Marcus Cox coming in. Number 14. Last game, 19 carries, 97 yards. 
five yards of carry, I believe. So we got some, I don't know what formation they're going in. So we're going to play it safe. We're going to cover three. Oh, man. That's a running formation, but you're never sure. See, they spread out to the tight end to the left side. So they may be faking it. Look, the fullback is the tight end. Crazy funky formation, man. Funky formation. So we're going to overload. Is it tight end in the backfield again? It's Burns. Nah, he's not there. So we got Cox and Bryant throwing the pass. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Early. Bonehead to Coy Sumler. He is their best receiver. Nice pass from Cameron Bryant. Nice catch. So McCoon, let's get something. It's a read option. We know that's the bread and butter. You know he's going to run the ball. We got a pretty good quarterback, pretty good running back. So you know we're going to have to keep our focus on read options and draw plays. And they run the shotgun. McCoon, here we go. Ryder, nice tackle. He almost ran you over, almost broke your chest, broke your ribs. 65 rushing yards. 65 rushing for 374 yards. Pretty good running back. Probably one of the top running backs in the Sun Belt, in my opinion. Big defensive play. Oh, man. Almost had him off. Ooh, ran him over. Marcus Cox, pretty quick kid with a 14 number. A very odd number as a running back. We're going to keep a spy there for that. Let Ryder spy for the quarterback because it looked like we never know if they're running the read option or not. And you know it was, and Ryder was right there on top of it. Upshaw. Have little small running backs, obviously. They're, they're not heavy. So they, they're spreading this field, and they're looking, you know. They have running backs that look like they can get out on the flats and make some havoc. Wreck it, boy. Let's go, McCoon. Nice tackle. Save us that first down. Third and two. Cameron Bryant, you know, making pretty good passes. Not taking a lot of risk. We're going to go cover three overload. Hopefully, we can get the cornerback. Look, maybe they'll run a sweep. It is a sweep. Oh, man. Good tackle, mentor. They ain't tossing that thing, so they're they're just running it. They're hitting it up the gut. They got a pretty big offensive line. The offensive line is pretty big. Oh, almost almost had them in the backfield. We know they love the read option. We gotta make these guys honest. Might have to start blitzing. Talk to my office coordinator, not defensive coordinator, to start blitzing. We're gonna keep these guys out here. Maybe they're going for a pass. Next drive, we're gonna start blitzing and give them a different look. We're gonna have to take some risks. The cone is there. You know it was gonna be a pass. Good tackle on the goal line. Keep your head down. We know it was gonna be a pass. Didn't know if it was gonna be in the back of the end zone, but they threw it in the front. So we're gonna jam cover. Leave one guy in the zone back there. Oh my. The read option, man. Cameron Bryant. In two games on the road. We got to steal one of these. Nice run by the quarterback there. 11 plays, 91 yards. was a long drive. When they keep that ball on the ground, it's kind of hard to, to fight the consistency. They got consistency. Father stays winning against Boston College. I hope somebody got on white jerseys over there because the colors are too similar. They might be passing the ball to each other. Okay, let's go. Oh, dang. Show the 
cool got a neck like that dude that got lost. <laughs> All right. We got two play action plays here. Then we're going to run the empty tight end post. Hopefully we can get McLeod out of the, out of that on that swing route. He's there. Dang. If they can stay on their blocks just a second longer, that play will open up for us. But they obviously can't stay on their blocks there. So they're not sending so much pressure to where we have to. Oh. Dang. Kenan Gilchrist. We're gonna do the deep curl. Colbert, hopefully he don't he don't got any separation over there. Not Colbert anyway, Mason or somebody else. Oh my goodness. The accuracy kills. Appalachian State came to play. Woodruff is You can't go through this one more week, Woodruff. The composure you have to get <laughs> you have to get hold of a young fellow. Players be wide open, you overthrow them. That's two weeks in a row. We threw it we not we turn the ball over in the first quarter. Oh man. Slant by Malachi Jones. That quarterback too it's hard to go when you got twin black players in the backfield. Oh, he's there. Dang, he ran us over. Second touchdown for Cameron Bryant, man. They getting him in the red zone. We gave him that one right there. It was easy for him. We gave the quarterback two touchdowns on the read option. We know this team is is almost the same team as in talent wise as the ECU we just went up against. But we we're making mistakes. We're giving these guys opportunities to score with short field in front of us. Milliken. Let's see if we can get something on the return. Nice. Keep pushing it, young fella. Nice break. He's giving us a spark on the return. We have to score here, offense. Woodruff, please. Please keep your head, young fella. Look at him. Wiggling out there. Nervous. McLeod, you're going to have to take the him the, the horns of the offense, McLeod. Oh, my goodness. You got to get more speed at running back. Big plays. We, we can make them happen. So we're going to dive to the left side. We normally don't run off this side that much. We're going to see if we can get a big push there. Not much of a push. First, though, not the first down. We're going to dive it up the middle again. Got an impact linebacker right there. He's probably going to blitz. He's not showing. Yeah, he blitz. But big, big run up front. Not a nice hole. He got stood up. But we'll take it. We're going to continue to run the ball because our quarterback, until he get in the rhythm, Skogan is there. Oh, nice break. Nice tackle to break. Change of direction is not that fast. It's not that good at changing. All right, so we're going to run some curls here. Robinson is over there. Hopefully he don't get... Oh, man. This kid is... Kid is out of this element, man. This kid is not in his head is not. He's not in the game right now. Look at him. What was that? That's it. I can't I can't do this whole game like this. Not with Woodruff. We were gonna give him a chance to start it off, but the composure is not there. He's not ready for the big stage. As of, he's a freshman, he's a freshman. We know he is. But now, in this type of environment, we need someone who's 
Someone who's going to keep their composure when we go on the road and go up against teams that are better than us. We just know that our backup quarterback, he cannot make deep passes. He cannot make deep passes, so it takes away our long ball, but we can get a lot of short plays. We got enough talent on at wide receiver to get us, you know, break break big plays and all that type of stuff. I'm on McCoon. Defense stand up on this drive here. And let's get this ball back. And let's let our sophomore red shirt go to work. Hannon, he's pretty quick, as we guys seen last week. He's pretty quick. He can elude the um, pressure. Big pass caught by Takori Sumler. We almost had a three and out there. In the end of the first quarter, we're losing by two scores. But, man, we still have a chance, man. My defense is, like always, playing pretty good, man. Playing pretty good. Offensively, we... we we, we got to get something. We got to start something. Look at a big tackle, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Get him. Look at that boy out there crawling. Brad Minter, man. My two best players on three best players on defense are all coming from the linebacker position. Oh, we running, man. I didn't want to run, man, here. So I'm going to just change the audible there. So we have everybody. We don't get beat too bad. Didn't want to run, man, for that reason there. I was going to a zone, but I missed a hit. It. <laughs> Called the wrong play. We're going to blitz strong safety here. We can get this ball back, man. We can let Hannon go to work. And our running game is not bad. We just got to be able to. Just got to be able to um get the passes there, man. Yeah, we got wide open receivers. Just can't get the ball to them. <clears throat> We're going to run cover two here. This quarterback hasn't missed a pass all game. Pumping up the offense, the the defense, not the crowd. Oh man, he fell. Come through. Big slam. Can't wait to get this kid out there, six six guy. Come on, Wilkins. Get off your tack. Oh, man. God, he hold up. Can we get the interception? Oh, man. Big defensive play. He took a shot. But, man, I thought we was going to be able to get that one. That would have been a big turning point for us. We got to get momentum back somehow. Three yards ago, y'all, let's get the stop. We get momentum back if we get the stop. And hopefully push it down the field. Come on, Ross. Get off that block, baby. Oh, he's there. Good tackle, man. We ran him out of that pocket. Eventually got to him. That's what I'm talking about. Chunk it up to the skies, my guy. Whew. Let's see what Hanny can do. Let's see what he can do. Composure means in everything in college football, man. Gotta have a. I don't care if your overall is better or whatever. We can't make it if you're not in. We can't get in rhythm. All right, we got the bench play here. Pose already. He's overthrowing too. I read him overthrowing and throw a line drive though. Not a big, not a bad pass. We're gonna try the screen play. Get something started. Full back. I don't. Kane. Let's see what we got, baby. Dang. Nothing's working for us, man. Nothing. Triple X. Robinson. We're going four verticals. We don't have a choice right here. <laughs> Hopefully we can get something. They were blessing. They knew what time it was. 
Now he's rattled. <laughs> they laid out punter out back there. I don't know if you guys saw it, but they laid him out. <laughs> Man. All right. They're already on the um, outside of the field. I have to get a big step on defense. Good tackle. Big, big tackle. I'm glad you're able to keep all your energy instead of running kickoff return. All right. Ooh, turn around, Holland. Come on. You're there, man. You're there. You're on top of the um, the receiver, but you're not paying attention to the ball. Oh, my goodness. torture <laughs> uh, okay so we gotta do cover two sink man something good's gotta happen something good's gotta happen mm. good tackle they're very athletic one thing we can say about these guys very athletic here at Appalachian State Oh, Wilkins, give us something, baby. All right, he's running. Ooh, can we get it? Dang. They love that read option. They're running a the triple option with the slot receiver, too, man. These guys, man. If we can get a turnover here, I need one of my DBs to just snag one of these things and take it to the house. him out. They steady doing it too. They're running it. They're running that out. We're gonna hurt that quarterback. We take him out. Keep running the ball with him. We got that Michael Fresh and Matters. All those guys are moving. Oh my goodness. I almost let him get past. He you don't know which way he's going man. Good sack good tackle I mean McCoon. My goodness. Bo Bo Better. Cameron Bryant. That connection was pretty good, man. I wish it was us. <laughs> Look at him. Sneak it through. Quarterbacks in rhythm and everything. Ole Miss got the leg up on Alabama first quarter, man. Two, number two Alabama. You know they're not going down. If they go down, that'll be a very big upset. So it's 21-0 for the second half. Looks like last week. I don't know what we're going to do offensively. We don't have time to throw the ball. We're running the ball pretty well. But we're getting dire need for positions where we got to has it. We don't have any. Dang. We don't have any chance of getting the ball. Let's just try to run the ball, man. Get something started. McLeod's fine. He's getting holes, but these guys are just closing in on him. we going to draw play. Hopefully we can fake him out. Oh man, got around it, but nothing was there, man. Let's punt the ball. Ooh, very close for the block. 
pretty good punt. Look at Cox, he's doing his thing. Bryant doing his thing. Sumbler, they're twins. <laughs> Look, they got the same face, generic face. All right, let's go, man. Let's get a big stop or something. Get a turnover, man. For half, that'll be great. Oh, over his head. Come on, Ryder, put your hands up, buddy. I love it. When we get on top of the nation, you're going to be like, oh, man, that go fire. Look at these boys. They lit. And we can just win five games this year. Oh, that's home and you're there every time, man. That's exactly what we need, man. Turn that thing around and take on the things to the house, man. You know how you do. We got four receivers. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we need a spy? I'm going to go over the spy. One spy. Hope that spies. Who's the spy? Because he might wheel out there and try to run. Let's go. Bryant. He launches it. Turn around. Almost picked it off. Almost. Reggie Thomas. Good D, bro. Good D. I love my defense, man. I can kind of depend on those guys to, you know, keep scores. 200 yards total offense already. <laughs> keep the score not too crazy. Well, they get tired after a while. Because offense, like they can't hold the ball. Well, at least they haven't even completed two first downs in how long? I don't know. If we can get two first downs, I know we got a good drive. Got a Dre route going across the middle. Maybe Caldwell. I kind of like this kid. Come on. He's there, man. He is there, man. But we know his accuracy is very bad. Oh, switch the sides, man. Hopefully we can get something. Gosh. This is killing us. Nothing. No hope. No hope, man. Maybe we can get Dangus. Oh, Dangus. Hmm. My goodness. My goodness, guys. I don't know how we're going to make it through this season. Woodrow don't look too bad. We got it. We're going to just let... We're going to let... um. What's his name? Fucking... Excuse me. Reese. Finish this game up. Because he, he ain't doing no better. Sixty overall. Good sack, man. Defensively, we're... We, we make things happen defensively. Offensively... It's a whole nother story, man. Quarterbacks are not. Offensive line is not. Come on, McCool. Let's go. Get off of him. Get off. Turn around. Oh, my goodness. Big catch. He went out there and got that thing. Dang, they taking some shots now. Look at that. Turn around, boy. That's some little guy. He is moving. He on both sides of the ball. He switched sides on us and went and got another big gainer. Oh man, I didn't know it was set on offense. Oh my goodness. Big tackle, safe touchdown. He would have fumbled that, that would have been wonderful. All star. Storm Brave. Let's go. D tackles going down into the A gap and leaving the 
There we go. A tap. They're gonna rush to the line of screens. We already know that. We are going two man under. Just, let's get a pick. Take it to the house, man. Let's keep it up, defense. Out of there. In the stands. Man, those people are close. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he was there like, what are you doing just standing there, buddy? He pumped like he did. So you didn't do anything, my kid. <sighs> Call time out. Ice him. Ice him. Ice him. Twenty-four to zero, going into halftime. Maddox, whatever. We're gonna take this one back to the house. We have a lot of confidence in our returner. <laughs> touchdown. We already calling it. We're claiming it. We're claiming the touchdown. Boom. We're claiming it. <laughs> well, good run. Good cat. Let's go. Halftime. Twenty-one zero. We're not looking good again this week. But 60-something overall team. Hopefully we catch our scribe one day this year. We looked pretty good week one, but it was against lesser talent just like ourselves. And ever since we've been playing teams with overalls of 80 or above. So we blitz, center in, center in the house. Let's go. Nobody's on the tight end. He's blocking. So that's what I'm talking about, Ryder. Look at that. Had him confused all over the place. Ryder, six tackles, man. Tackle blue, Ryder. Huh? What you going to do? Look at it. He pumping. He ain't know what to do. We getting that pressure now. We coming back. 24 points. We skunking these guys. We coming back. Let me stop. We ain't skunking, but we coming back. We getting our defensive crumb. Come on. Get this pick. I see the pick right now. I see it. I see it. Oh, my eyes. There you go. Oh. oh, Mr. Tackle. He killed us. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Deflated us. Like, look there. Oh, my goodness. He was there just so excited. Just ran past and dive out of bounds. Just hollering again, man. One big play. We already made one. Then we give the momentum right back to these guys, man. 46-yard reception. We had them where we wanted them, man. Football. One mistake, bro. Blows up the whole game. McComb. Pick. Ooh, pick. There we go, Johnson. That's what I'm talking about. Run it. Oh, Johnson got it. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what Johnson is, but <laughs> he's not that fast. But that was a big play. That's what we needed to get this defensive spot. Look at it. He almost didn't catch it. He almost hit the ground. Nice tilt by Ryder. Nice tackle. Nice coverage. Boy, that's what I'm talking about. Hoo, 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 hoo. So what we're going to do right now, I'm coming up on the center. Right now with Reese, we're handing, and we're rolling out. So we know they're bringing the pressure. No pressure was bought. Let me get it right back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me get it right back. After a big play, turn it over immediately. Defense, <laughs> y'all doing what y'all can. I know. Defense, y'all doing what y'all can, man. Offensively, we just, we just, we trying. We're trying. 
I like defense though. Defense is good. As long as we can get some offense players behind them, we'll be okay. Good tackle D. That was a nice pick though. That was a nice pick. I don't care. If we turn the ball over right immediately. They're doing the screen again. We're there again. Don't keep they kept trying the screen play against us. Man, I wish we could have capitalized on that defense interception, bro. We kind of got them scared, but they're not scared of us either. Our quarterback scared still. Don't worry about it. We got it, Milliken, right there. Take it back to the house, Milliken. We know you got. It. We know you got it in. You. We know we. We know you got it in. You. Oh, your cousin tapped you, man. We gonna wide receiver post, man. This cornerbacks get cold. They just out of it. Mason, please give us something. Can you give us something? They're just playing this thing so smart. Another pick. We were able to get a sack on these guys in the end zone after that interception we thought was gonna ruin the game from us. And we finally put points on the board. Lucky us. Lucky us. Following in the session, we got a safety. Oh, man. Cobra dropped it, man. We're going to roll out again. He is very cold, ice cold. All right, Cobra, nice catch, baby, nice catch. Ryan Cobra got the first catch from um, Hannon. First completion. Hope we can get Hannon in some rhythm. He can start making good run, Cobra. Not Cobra, McLeod, up the middle. That safety really saved us. Gave us some momentum. He didn't save us, but gave us some momentum. Going up to H to have back gut here. Scoping. They're blessing. We know they, they're not showing, but oh. dang. That push up front, man. All right. Scoping. Well, Scoping, but Hannon, what can we do with this one, buddy? You're looking at Robinson coming straight across. Hopefully we can get these guys to listen. First down, baby. Nice slide. Save yourself. Save your head. Because <laughs> he was going to take it off. All right. All right, Hannon. I know we've been putting you in some bad situations, man. We got two quarters. Two and a half quarters left. One and a half quarters left. Good run, McLeod. Five yards. Have that count a week. Hope we can fake it to one side and get it back to the other. Skogan, he's not a feedback, but he can power it up the middle. Four yards. Four yards, man. Hopefully, we can get another run in the middle. We're going to power O. Probably a risky play, but we're not taking any chances passing the ball. Boom. Here we go. Come on, McLeod. Take it out, son. Here we go. Stiff him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finally, finally, finding some offense, man. It feels so good. It feels so good when we finally found some offense. Offense plays that are working. That hole was tight, man. I didn't know which one to go into. Let's check it out again. Could we bounce to the outside? Nope. 20 something was coming all right all right we got Cobra there we got Mason there we got Dingus there oh man I thought he was gonna dump it over top I he just threw it directly to the kid 
We're going deep curls. Third down. Oh, he dropped it. Come on, Snellins. Come on. How you drop that, brother? Field goal. Keep some of this momentum. Let's keep it. Good kick. 5 to 24. Weird score, but. Finally able to put some offensive points on the board. The last two points came from a safety. Those guys are blocking, man. Second half. First half, we only had 21 yards. Second half, we only had 55. All dogs going. You know they go to heaven. We're about to send this guy. Let's wrap this quarterback up. Come off the edge. False start. Come on, defense. Let's get another turnover, baby. Let's get another turnover. Stay there. Stay there. Push him out of bounds. Second and seven. Better than second and two because they had a penalty. All right, we're going to cover three. 16 for 23, 242 yards. Not bad. Goodness. All right. Let's try to get a stop here. Come on. We gave it down. We had our we had a advantage with the penalty, but Oh my god. <laughs> Cameron Bryant. Cameron Bryant. Mr. Oh, I don't see anything, so I'm going to take off running, and I know they can't catch me because they don't have enough skill on the defense. McComb, let's go, baby. Good tackle. Good tackle, man. Sean Boone. It's a big kid. Come on, McCone. Let's get a stop on D, y'all. Can we get another turnover? Ooh, overdue. Behind his player. Right is there. Four and inches. Hopefully they kick a field goal. Hopefully they miss it. Man, we try. My defense, I know y'all tired. Can we get a block? Scrape down the middle. He knifed out. We're only down by 22. Score here. He got pancake, got back up, and chasing that. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. No pitch plays. I hate those. We're going to run. See if we can get Cobra some type of yardage. Nothing there. <laughs> We're trying anything right now, man. Just trying anything. Trying to just complete a pass. It's kind of difficult. We got curls here. Robinson is over there by itself. It's kind of small feel. Hopefully we can. Nothing is there. Oh, oh. That was late.
We're gonna run a slip screen, half back slip screen. We can get something. We're gonna at least catch the ball. Come on, McLeod. Good run. Snipe that thing up in there to get that first down. Good effort, extra effort, man. After that catch. That was necessary. Alright, we're gonna run play action. We're gonna rifle that thing up there. We got Robinson. We going to the end zone. Taking a chance. Our first shot of the game. Boom. Come on, Robinson. Key tables. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dante Blackman right there. Trying to get a, another interception. He already got two. So going into fourth quarter, 527, man. Still trying to get something going on offense. Just trying to get something, man. Nothing was there. Two for 16. Disgusting. Two for 16. It's just disgusting. All right. We got a hitch route and a streak. Let's go. Catch. Oh, he dropped. <laughs> Even the ones we get ready to catch, they drop them, man. Oh. Finally, finally catching one at the point of where we almost impossible. Like what? You gotta catch that one, but not the rest. All right, kind of happy we caught one. Three of eighteen now. Now you got a little bit of composure back. I'm wanting to run it back out the backfield here. Get your hands up. Turn it up. Good, good catch. Almost on the he threw it behind him, but he was able to make something out of it. Finally catching the ball. Surprising. All right, I want to slant across the middle. Snellings. Got Robinson over there, but he got a lot of guys over there covering him, look like. Snellings. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm surprised he got back up. Big hit. My goodness. Sorry, son, for putting you in such harm's way. My goodness. But you went out there and tried to get it, though. I give you that. I commend you on that one. All right, Mason. Mason catches it. Face mask. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I see you handing out there making it happen. Once you get one good play, these guys will finally get in the rhythm, man. Let's go, man. First goal. Let's go. Let's put some points on the board. We're about to upset. They're coming back. Man, we're about to make a heroic comeback. Whew. All right, McLeod. I see you heating up right there, buddy. You ain't heat up in so many games. Let's go. Oh. Knife it up the middle. Oh, man, it was there. It was there. I don't know how he found it, but it was there. I seen all that pressure on the outside. I knew something was coming. We're going to play action it. Trying to get this fullback out of the back end. Boy, I feel like we were winning right now. The way these guys are playing. They humming that thing. All right. Dang. I try to not, I try to dump it off in the back of the end zone very quickly to um whoever that was. I didn't know. I'm going to run this read out. Hopefully we can trick the defense. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dang, that's a tough D, bro. Uh, we going to go for it. We don't care. Yes, dive. Knife it up the middle. Not the middle, but the outside. Hopefully we can get something there. They are very tight up front. Oh, no. Turnover on downs, man. <laughs> Should have died. <laughs> he stood us up at the goal line, man. Come on, let's see if we can get another sack, D. Let's see if we can get another safety, man. Gosh, we are. That was a good drive. I'm excited. I'm excited after that drive. Dang, that almost was a fumble, boy. We would have got that one. I'm excited after that drive, man. I'm excited. I'm excited after that drive. I feel like we can do something. Now, I finally feel like we can do a little something. Dang. I thought we were out of the... I thought we were done for the rest of the season. I know our overall is bad, but... These guys fight. That, that was a fight and drive, bro. This is a good team we're going up against, though. 
Good tackle. Good tackle. Good hit. Let's get the third down. Let's stop him. We're going to go under smoke. It's a very risky play here. But I don't think. We got a slot receiver right there. It's very risky. But we need to stop the running game. I believe they're going to run. Dang. Pancake and waffles. <laughs> <laughs> you see them? He got thrown back. Big drop. That would have been six. McComb. Turn around. Pretty good, pretty good. This team is it's they're pretty good defensively. No lie, how good they are on defense. Offensively, they're consistent. 276 yards. They're expected to beat us. The inaugural season for Furman is going as expected. A struggle starting off. But um, only we're only gonna get better. It's only up from here. Only up, my friends. Only up from here. Pick. Oh, put your eyes. Look up, boy. What nice way to jar that ball loose with your hand. Good pick. That could have been a pick. I was excited that last drive. That was a hard fought drive. If we can get a couple of those, man. We'll beat some teams, man. Gosh. <laughs> Check for your mouthpiece, buddy. Hope you still got your mouthpiece. Cause get off that block, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Hit, man. Defense, don't worry about it. McCool. Look like we're gonna have a lot of freshmen. We have a few freshmen on. We're gonna have a few freshmen on um, both sides of the ball next year. We have a few 11 seniors leaving. So they have to play, you know, big roles, a couple of those guys. We know Cobra was a senior. A couple of defensive players are seniors also. Ran right past the guy. And he scored again. It's kind of hard to know when you defending that dog on read option. It's a tough one. 33 to 5, boy. Furman, we're looking like the doormats of the Sun Belt. <laughs> Everybody's walking over. We're going to get us a dub, though, man. I think we kind of figure out what we need to do. I'm going to leave um, handing that quarterback because he at least showed me that, hey, I can make some passes or whatever. The tail of the tape. Three interceptions. Um, for uh, quarterbacks. Look at him. See, he's making them passes too, boy. He's making them. He's making them. Finally, we're getting some offense. 6-23. He's making some passes. McLeod, see what we can get from you, buddy. All right, that play will work when that that receiver get that on um, block. That play will work. Seven for twenty-four, eighty-five yards, two two interceptions.
the run. Look at McLeod. McLeod making doing. He doing something. Tell him McLeod. Six three yards. Four point two average. You doing your part, young boy. You know you are. Caldwell sliding over through the motion to get that block on that big impact player. He trying to get loose. Skogan, nice run, baby. Now, have back dive up the middle, man. Let's get some points on the board. I don't want to leave here without any scores. Oh, gosh, he busted the line. My goodness. Talent does shows a lot. We're gonna draw it up. We're gonna have back draw. Come on, Scogan. Look at him. That was a nice find, man. Nice find. He's right. He's a smooth runner. He's not fast. He picks up speed once he gets the ball and start running downhill. He picks it up quick. Alright, Skogan on the read option. Let's see what we got. Boom. Hannon finds the opening. Spins. There you go, Hannon. Big run, baby. I can run a read option with Hannon, too. Like, he's not the fastest, but he, he gives her that option. Smash it up the middle. Hopefully. Oh, we got feature in there. See what he looks like with the ball in his toe. With toting that tater. Mm, he almost got loose. He got dread, so I thought he was fast. That's a little quick. No gloves on, so he must be get down and dirty. Skogan back in there. Oh, nice, nice block. Caldwell, I seen that. That's on an impact player, too. Caldwell's out there laying him down. Skogan runs pretty good. Very smooth, like I said. Now, right, we're going to try to stick real quick. We, if we don't get this play, we also can go back and probably run the ball and get the first down. So I'm going to try to slant across the middle. Slack's not there, so I'm gonna run it up the middle. Dive! Hannon scores! Reese Hannon, good read them, fellow. That play was wide open. Look like Matt um, Ryan there last week. He thought he was gonna do the same thing. Nice dive. Nice way to take it in for a score. And put us on the board with an offensive touchdown. 10 plays, 74 yards, 2 minutes and 39 seconds. That's all it took for us to score. So uh, we're gonna just kick the ball to him. We don't need to try for an onside kick. Heck, we're not trying to come back from now. 12 to 34. Nice hit. We got to, we got to be grateful for the small things. Great teamwork. They got our kicker in there in the middle. <laughs> That's crazy. That's some new stuff every day. All right, man. So defense, we got three timeouts. We get us a stop. Oh, he's there. How many yards Brian got? Get us a stop. We get the ball back and try to score again. Wilkins. Terrence Upshaw. Must be the backup running back. So that's the end of the game, y'all. We took another loss it's two weeks in a row. Joe McGruff and the staff got to figure out what we need to do to right the ship. Appalachian State was a better team. We were able to score. We were able to have a couple good drives of offense. I think it was two. We were able to put the ball down the field. We found out that Reese Hannon is maybe our best option at quarterback. Even though his passing skill is not better than the starting quarterback or the better quarterback that we have but he can also run the option he also you know gets in the rhythm very quick because he has experience he's older and 
We're going to try next week to get a W as we did this week. And hopefully it comes out better. And we will see you guys next week of this NCAA 19 Furman Dynasty, the Paladins. And we will let you guys know what it is. 100 I Shoot, Chuck McGraw. Appreciate you guys watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Holla at your boy. Doop.